All right, my name is Christopher Yannett. I'm an Ordnance and Explosive Safety Specialist for the U.S. Army Corps Engineers, Baltimore District. Today I'm going to give you a class on mech awareness, munitions and explosives of concern. Mech safety and awareness brief for dredging operations. Topics I'm going to cover today are definitions, mech mitigation measures for dredging, and ordnance identification. Munitions and explosives of concern. MEC is a general term that refers to several categories of military munitions that may pose unique explosive safety risks and are identified as 1. Unexploded ordnance, 2. Discarded military munitions, and 3. Munition constituents. As you see here on the page, there's a couple of examples of MEC items that we have found during dredging operations. The first being a 57 millimeter projectile second picture being a 37 millimeter projectile, the third item being a 10 inch projectile caught in the drag head, and the fourth item is a 1907 powder train time fuse. MPPEH, material possibly presenting an explosive hazard. Material owned or controlled by the Department of Defense that prior to determination of its explosive safety status potentially contains explosives or munitions i.e. munitions, containers, and packaging material, munitions debris remaining after munition use, demilitarization or disposal, and range-related debris, or potentially contains a high enough concentration of explosives that the material presents an explosive hazard, i.e. equipment drainage systems, holding tanks, piping, or ventilation ducts that were associated with munition production, demilitarization, or disposal operations. What's not included on this is fuel containers, oil containers or anything else. It's mainly items that were used for explosive intent for munitions. What is a UXO? Military munitions that have been primed, fused, armed, or otherwise prepared for action have been fired, dropped, launched, projected, or placed in such a manner as to constitute a hazard to operations, installation, personnel, or material. UXO remain unexploded either by malfunction, design, or any other cause. UXOs can be extremely sensitive and detonate when disturbed. What is munitions debris? Munitions debris are remnants of munitions, i.e. fragmentation, penetrators, projectiles, shell casings, links, fins, or any other item remaining after munition use. Mech safety. Do not step on, kick, pick up, throw, touch, drop, or jar a suspected mech item. Static electricity can also discharge from you or a radio to the item causing it to function as designed. Not all munitions have explosive fillers. There are chemical warfare material munitions. If chemical fluid or any other fluid is leaking from an item, make sure you get upwind 300 feet if possible. Be alert for any unusual odors such as garlic, geraniums, or horseradish. These will be signs of chemical munitions. If someone shows signs of being sick after being around the mech item, get medical attention ASAP. There was an incident in Dover, Delaware with a 75 millimeter projectile that they found in a shell bed. The explosive ordnance disposal technicians from Dover Air Force Base responded to it. They treated it as a regular, not a CWM item. It wound up leaking mustard gas and they got blisters and burns from the item. Mech prevention measures for dredging. With all our dredging projects, we have a few protective measures that we have to take in order to fulfill the mission and keep everybody safe. On the drag heads, we have 1.2 inch screens on the hopper dredge intakes and 75 or 0.75 inch screens on the outflow baskets. This is prevent mech from either reaching the ship or eventually reaching the shore. We also do mech training for dredges and beach crews. Everybody working on the site gets this class that we're given now and all mech training for US USACE personnel. Dredging operations at sea. As you can see from the pictures, there's some examples of the intakes on the dredging operations. Uh, the screening on them prevents the items, larger items, from getting into the ship. And then on the beach side baskets, that prevents it from getting to shore. To date, we have 100% accountability that nothing has reached to shore as far as any mech items on the beach. Always check your intake screens. These are some examples from one of our projects at Seabright where the drag heads were dragging up large projectiles that were getting caught in the teeth in a drag head. It's imperative that the, beach, or the, the ship crews check the drag head screens prior to leaving the borrow area to ensure that there's nothing caught on the screen. Dredging operations on shore. 
You'll see two examples of some of the baskets that we're using on the shore. These are the 0.75 inch screens that are capturing anything that the, the, uh, the dread ship pumps onto the shore. Inspecting beach integrity. It's imperative that the quality assurance personnel that are on the beach after every offload check the conditions of the screen to make sure there's no holes, tears, rips. Make sure that everything's in place, all the screens are in place to capture the munitions. If a hole is reported, operations must stop there, the beach has to be checked, and the, the basket has to be repaired. And to go into a couple pictures of mech ID. What does mech look like? The following pictures are a couple examples of mortars. Note that everything you see in these pictures, or everything you get, if you encounter on the beach, is not going to look pristine. It's not going to have the proper color coding. You're not going to be able to see it no more. It's going to be rusted, corroded, might be damaged. A lot of the stuff we're finding is from the early 1900s, so the condition of the items might not look like an exact item that you're used to seeing as far as military munitions. Projectiles. Projectiles are a big item that we're seeing on the beach. We're usually finding 37 millimeters, 57 millimeters, and 75 millimeter projectiles. Next pictures you're going to see are rockets. Like I said, even if you don't ID it by what type of munition it is, if you don't know what it is, definitely don't touch it and call the Ordnance Explosive Safety Specialist on, on your project. One of the biggest items we encounter on the beach dredging operations are fuses. A lot of these fuses are discarded military munitions, which means they were never fired, but they still pose a potential hazard because they contain explosive hazards. Naval markers and mines can also be encountered since we're dealing with sea time operations. If you see anything, report it. Here's a couple of examples of the 75 millimeters. These are actually the 75 millimeters that contain the, the mustard gas, the conventional or chemical warfare material that was found in Dover. Examples of 37 millimeters found on the beach projects. These made it to the secondary baskets on the beach and were captured and turned over to explosive ordnance disposal. Two pictures of 37 millimeter and 40 millimeter in, actually inside the beach baskets in the condition found inside the baskets. And a few more examples of items that were dredged onto the beach. Uh, Baltimore Harbor was being dredged and we found a lot of cannonballs there from the early or late 1800s. So you never know what you're going to get, you're going to find as far as military munitions. When it comes to mil military munitions, always remember the three R's. Recognize, report, and retreat. If you see something, you recognize it. Even if you don't recognize it, make sure you report it. After you report it, retreat to a safe enough distance away that you could, you could aid in the recovery of that item. Information to have on hand when you report a UXO. Your reporting organization, your name and who you work for, your contact method, either cell phone or regular landline telephone, your location, your location where you're at and the location of the item in question. Description of the munition, i.e. it was two foot long, it was round, it was pointed at one end, just give a general description of it. If you can, jot a picture down of what you think the item looked like when you looked at it. This aids the personnel that are coming to retrieve that item. And the resource is threatened. Report any equipment, facilities, or other assets that are threatened by this munition. UXO safety guidelines. Do not operate cell phones or radios near a UXO. Make all cell phone radio transmissions from outside the 300 foot safety zone. If you have any more questions concerning UXO, contact the USACE Baltimore Ordnance Explosive Safety Office for more information. That number is 410-962-6741. Are there any questions? <music>